Jane Lewis. No, 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 no. Jane Lewis. Okay. So, Jane, where are you from? Storrington. Where's that? West Sussex. You want to convey a mood of what? Informative but lighthearted. And the title is Being Messy. It is. It's a good thing. Being messy. Being messy. Thank you very much. Um, this theme is all about picking up from um, what Margaret was saying about the fact that there are hidden gems out there who can help us transform the world. But I'm looking at the particular case study, which is about starting local and starting slow and having a lot of fun at the same time. As all of you probably know, I'm really into positive deviance, but, uh, um, which the theory of which is that in every community, there are certain people whose hidden but successful coping strategies enable them to cope better within, than their peers do within exactly the same resources. And I've been following that, as many of you know, uh, with perseverance over the last few years. And in one place in particular, in Gosport in Hampshire, this is Gosport, you can see it's got nice bits and it's got some very deprived bits. Um, this is the council, to whom I am terminally grateful for passing me their first ever grant to have a go at positive deviance. We tried looking at children's attainment. Children's attainment in Gosport is well below the Hampshire average, which is the, the county it's in, and also the national average. They've got a really high rate of teenage pregnancy. There's a lot going on that they want to stop. They're putting money into children's centres, but they're not going to the people that they need to get to. So we started doing some positive deviance around um, children's attainment. And one of the people in the first group was Jez. Now, Jez is a witch. Seriously, she is a white witch. She was also one of the children's uh, centre uh, parents form and thought of as a bit of a gobby person with a bit of an attitude. And um, she wanted to help me. And she came on board and we tried to... This is find the focus. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, so we worked out that uh, we, we tried one, one particular way of doing it. We tried to follow the book and it took a long time. We lost people. But the focus on children's attainment got a lot of energy and enthusiasm. I mean, oh, um, And there is commitment and energy and we wanted to harness that. But we found that the traditional PD way of doing things took too long. And was, we couldn't get to see people. There are a lot of gatekeepers in communities. If you want to do this exploration, if you want to do the discovery, it's very hard. So Jess said, can you give us a job and I'll help you put the pieces together? And um, so I thought, all right then. So she said, can I have a go? And I said, okay. And um, so she went off and she read the book and we did some work together and she designed a different way of doing it that she thought would work. And uh, so we had a go. She recruited a group, um, not using the usual way that children's centres do, uh, through advertising and leaflets. Uh, the, the Friday before the Tuesday she was due to run the first session, we didn't have anybody using traditional methods. By the following Tuesday, we had eight mums and 14 children. And um, they worked out that what they really wanted to work, out, um, work on was being an engaged parent. They could see that the government's got all these uh, things about being a good parent and the five a day this and the message of that. The problem is that people don't know how to get started. So um, she got together with the mums, they brainstormed the issues they had with their kids, <laughs> and, um, she, um, and they, they discovered that they really did have a fear of messy play, as you can see, not surprising why really, and um, they didn't do it. So Jess got them to measure how often they did it, because data is a very important part of this and uh, how they confident they felt and how they wanted their kids to develop, what skills they thought that mess and play would develop. And um, she said, okay, well, can we do that? Um, have we ever done it before? And they discovered all these hidden coping strategies and they planned how to get the mums together with the children to do messy play. And they planned, they developed specific plans, they tried out some of the tools and techniques, they learned how to make bloop, they learned how to make Play-Doh, they learned how to put pasta on things to make collages, and they had a fantastic time just doing the planning. 
And for the first sessions, they had a crash so that they could concentrate on working on their own. The final session, they ran the messy play session. And um, they had four sets of twins, there's one of them. Uh, and one of the key things that the, some of the mums were really concerned about was how do I balance between having multiple births? You know, how can I keep running between my children and keep them interested, stop them fighting, all this sort of thing. And um, as you can see, on the final session, A, they did get extremely messy, but also the mums are down there playing with them. And that's the whole point, was that even in the creche, you could see on a day-to-day -day basis, the creche workers were standing back. And the kids were just left to their own devices just to get on with stuff. But doing that together, I mean, look at his face. And the feedback was absolutely fantastic. They had a wonderful time. We measured all the, the changes in behavior. We've got some fantastic sort of case study notes. Um, and the, the mums are still together. And several months later, they all still meet after the program ended. They had pancake parties, they had a pyjama party, and they also learned about the fact that you have to extract the kids from messy play as well without them having a tantrum and clean them up. And they learned how to divert them so that they didn't have hobbies when their nice play things were taken away by providing a picnic, and that they scheduled how to clean up afterwards. And they had a really good time. And this is from afterwards, this was several months afterwards. This is one of the mums who was least confident. She was actually a Muslim convert, that's her little son. And she learned about playing messily in the bath, because it's very much easier. And all these suggestions came from the mums. Jez didn't teach anyone anything. They just talked about it and had conversations. And it's been now a case study. This is the National College. It's a view from the National College of School Leadership. And uh, we presented this as a case study, thanks to our various connections that we were introduced to it. Uh, and it went down really well. And um, it was actually a revelation not to tell people about things. So here we all are now. I'm, start, I'm trying to start a movement. So here you all are, including my husband up there. Thank you very much for your support in terms of how you've helped me get where I am. This is my team, with whom I have a great deal of fun. The word spread, so more of you can see themselves. Ow, Bob. Anyway, but it was had a great time. <laughs>